Right, hello, welcome back. Today we're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as a Twitter leaking account has come out saying that Amy and Rouge are apparently being planned to be in the film. I can guess what you're thinking. What are you talking about? Well, thanks to a tweet by at Sonic One News on Twitter, they say, There is this guy who seems to be a reliable source. He mentioned that Jim will return and Kristen Ritter, Jessica Jones and Breaking Bad will be playing a human, which are both true. He said that Amy will appear. The studio is hesitant to include Rouge. And with this, they've also included a set of images. The first one reads, First of all, I do not speak English, so sorry if my English is bad. So, there's this dude on Twitter by the name of Unfolding Sin who seems to be a reliable source. Now you may be asking, how do I know that he's reliable? Well, he has said that Jim Carrey was going to come back before the logo announcement, and he also said that Kristen Ritter would not be voicing a character before Daniel RPK said it. And not only that, he has also said a lot of stuff about Deadpool 3 and other MCU things that have been right, with them including images of his Twitter account saying, yes, Jim Carrey will return in Sonic 3, and another one saying, what did I say? I need a new phrase for this, haha. <laughs> then another tweet of his that reads, Kristen Ritter is in Sonic 3. I last heard that Amy Rose would be making her first appearance in this film, and I think we just found out who will be voicing her. Before then, a couple days later, tweeting out, Kristen Rea for sure isn't voicing a character. And then what was announced afterwards? Kristen Ritter cast as Captain Rockwell in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Another one of his tweets read, Only other role would be that of a gun agent or Rouge the Bat. Studio was trying to figure out how to make her appropriate towards younger audiences. Maybe they did. We shall see, but this is great news. Kristen is a great actress and will elevate the film in many ways. Yes, you heard that correct. They're actually hesitant to put Rouge into the film because they're trying to figure out how to make it appropriate towards children because, you know, uh, you know, those. And another one of his tweets read, it's actually not rumoured if she's going to play Rouge. That's speculation based on IGN's part. The studios are hesitant to include Rouge due to her sexiness. Not joking. She could also be voicing Amy. And yes, he's tweeted more Sonic things. Another one reading, the contenders in the ring to play Shadow in Sonic 3. There are others, obviously, but we'll know who will play him as soon as production completes or is near. And attached is a photo of Josh Hartnett and Robert Pattinson and Shadow the Hedgehog. And oh, Robert Pattinson, my goat, my goat is here! They even tweeted something related to Eggman, saying Jim Carrey will have the fat suit in Sonic 3, and it'll be explained in the film why he looks drastically different. Remember, he's underground. Which also coincides with when their Twitter account was hacked and Robotnik said, I've been underground. That they link, that, that's linked. And honestly, I can see Eggman being stuck underground as the reason as to why he becomes fat, because he can't really do much apart from just chill underground. It, it makes sense. Now, the thing that I think personally is a little bit strange and a little bit iffy about these is they're not really that specific. And most of the things that he's predicting could easily be guessed, like Robotnik coming back for Sonic 3. Let's be real, pretty much everyone was guessing that that was going to happen. You cannot have a Sonic movie without there being a Dr. Eggman. Come on, he's literally the main villain. They couldn't do it without him. Now, that being a little bit sceptical of adding Rouge because of her th th things, it, th that makes sense. I could see that being an actual thing, but they could just pull the Sonic Prime tactic and just make them smaller. It's th it's not that hard. Sonic Prime was able to pull it off. Why don't you just do what they did and just cover them up, despite all of the people that are going to be annoyed about it? Amy Rose being in the film, I could definitely see happening. Enough people want it, and it'd be a cool little reveal, but I feel like if she was in the third film, they'd have to make a fourth. And me personally, as much as I'd love to see a fourth Sonic movie, I don't see it happening. I think Sonic Hedgehog 3 is where it ends. I could definitely see a couple spin-offs in the future, but I don't know about films. Paramount want to milk this thing as hard as they can, but I can't see a fourth film. And overall, I don't know, this account just seems very random and weird and out of nowhere and... Uh... Whilst what they're saying seems reasonable, I don't know, they're just a little bit out of nowhere and anyone could say these things. But hey, I'm the Sonic Movie News Guy, I've got to talk about it. Subscribe because I'm the Sonic Movie News Guy. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think this is happening? Do you think this isn't real? Do you think this is real? Let me know. But anyways, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, on the best Sonic Movie 3 news source that is. You know that is a proven fact. It is a proven one, it's real. And I'll see you in a bit. Good boy!